So my name is uh, Jude Fitzgibbon. I'm a researcher at the Bart Cancer Institute in London. And my main interest is in follicular lymphoma and indeed transformation uh, of follicular to a more aggressive, potentially diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. I think what we can see is that transformation, uh, things have improved because with the introduction of, of uh, rituximab, uh, the incidence of transformation is probably now less than 10%. But what's clear when you actually look long-term in follicular lymphoma is that more than half of the patients who actually die from, from the disease, die from lymphoma, uh, have actual transformation. And I think what we've had in the past is fairly ad hoc studies where we, we've looked at sequential series of patients uh, and collected those potentially small numbers, maybe 10, 20s, and 30s. And I think what we now need to do is really to define much larger cohorts for example, as, as through the Aristotle study, uh, and identify um, cases that, that potentially fall into different categories of transformation, those where there's composite biology at diagnosis, those where transformation occurs at first relapse, second or third relapse. And there's even a notion that, that potentially dual hit diffuse large B cell lymphoma cases, uh, de novo cases, may actually represent trans transformed disease. You know, at the present time, I think clinical factors are really the only ones that give us a clue as to those patients that are likely to transform and do poorly. Um, and probably we haven't delved deep enough into the occurrence of MIC translocation, P53 mutation and relapse, to see can we identify what are these key major drivers that are actually affecting transformation. And indeed, I think a more holistic approach, if we could identify uh, both genetic changes, tumor microenvironment changes, and actually even look into certain changes in biology. For example, the, the, the shift from a, a small follicular cell to a, to a larger diffuse large B cell lymphoma cell might give us clues as to what's actually driving this change in phenotype and this poor overall survival. I think lastly, I think what combines both follicular and transformation quite well is, is the notion of evolution and, and the fact that the, the occurrence of a common progenitor cell, uh, this kind of mysterious uh, B cell population that appears to repopulate each new epi episode of disease and actually is linked to the incurability of, of the disease as a whole. And I think by focusing and trying to remove this population of cells, I think we have an opportunity going forward to, to both improve outcome for follicular lymphoma, uh, but also for transformation. So I think we can be optimistic. I think that globally, I think everybody is working far more collectively than ever before. Uh, and with that, then comes opportunities to actually make uh, step changes in how we see and understand the disease and hopefully how we can better treat it going forward.